Okay, in this lesson we're going to be using Explain Everything. Now this is one of those kind of go-to apps which uh, I love because it, it allows kids to kind of be creators. Um, and so today I'm going to actually focus on one aspect and that's going to be letters uh, and, and handwriting. And I'm going to show you how you do that uh, and how you can use it for kids to, to practice their letters and handwriting, record the process and send it to their teachers. Um, okay, so you can see uh, one that I've got ready here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the pencil here. So one of the things that Explain Everything can do is it can record as you go. So as you draw, handwrite, add pictures, all that kind of stuff, if I press that record button, it's actually going to record uh, my process as well as using the uh, microphone and actually me talking. Uh, down the bottom here, you can see I've actually got a bunch of these uh, slides. Um, if I tap across here, all the letters. And I'm going to show you how I actually made that kind of template in a second. So if I go back here. Um, so all we're going to do is just that recording feature using the pencil as well. So there's a bunch of other things on here, but I'll come back to that at a later time. So if I press record, all right, so I'm recording now, and I've got my pencil selected. I can change my width. I'm going to change my color. And say so I'm a student. I'm going to start practicing my letters. So I can start practicing over here. Having lots of fun practicing those. And I'll practice my A's. I'm just using my finger, but obviously you have, if you have a stylus, and there's lots of great styluses out there which really help uh, children with their grip, you can do that as well. And now we can practice my A's here without any guidance. There we go. All right, now if I stop that recording and play that back, um, you can hear what it does. Practicing over here. Having lots of fun practicing those. And I'll practice my A's. Okay, so you can hear I'm my just using my finger, but obviously you have, if you have a stylus, so and there's lots of great styluses out there, which really help. So as a teacher, obviously, with this video, they can go back and see the way the students did their, their letters. They can see them, make sure they're forming them the right way. Um, and yeah, see how they're going. And as the students obviously talking as well, they can talk about how they went. So once we're done with that video, if I tap down here, I can either save it or I can actually export it as well. So if I tap on the little video icon, I can export it straight to the camera roll. I can export it to YouTube or any of the other services as well, which is a good thing with Explain Everything. It's all built in. No in-app purchases like a few of these other ones that do that. Uh, and there you go. So straight to camera roll. I can email it to my, to my teacher or to my parent and they can see how we're going. So that is using letters uh, with Explain Everything. So how did I make this? All right, let me show you really quickly because it's actually pretty simple. So here we are in Keynote down here. Okay, so I basically created a Keynote. Now all these files will be uh, on this post as well. So you can download these and change them as you like. So you can see in Keynote, I've got a bunch of slides, okay, and down here I've actually got the template, uh, so I've just taken a screenshot of Explain Everything and I've put that on there as well because I'll know where I can actually put content because you can't put stuff obviously behind that because that's going to be obscured. Um, and then I've just put some text in here, so if I double click this, I can change this to whatever I want. Uh, and that's it, and I'm just using the, the Victorian cursive font, and I put some lines in there for guidance, but I can put anything I want in here. So I've done letters, I could do words, I could do numbers, you know, one plus one equals, I could do a whole bunch of stuff. I could do, heck, I could do Italian and the, the kids translate it, or, you know, you can do whatever you like, basically. All I'm doing is making this, this background for the kids to, 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 to draw on. Uh, and once you've done that, you all you need to do is file, is basically file export this as a PDF, and it'll be a PDF with 26, in the case of this, 26 slides, uh, and then you send that PDF straight to uh, your iPad. So the easiest way to do that is you can email it, so if I email this PDF to the iPad, I can open it up and explain everything. Um, you can have it on a web page, so you'll be able to download this PDF straight from my site through the iPad and open it up and explain everything. Um, all those options are there, and that's that's it, it's as simple as that. So I'll put that keynote up too, so you can use it, you can change it, uh, you can do whatever you like to it, you can use that template. And away you go. So if we go back to the iPad, I'm going to swing back across here. Okay, so I've actually got it right here. So here's the PDF ready to go um, that I emailed to the iPad. I just use messages actually. And if in the top right corner you see the little arrow and you've got your options to open in. So I'm just going to go open and explain everything. <clears throat> I'm going to just say discard and create a new project. And that's what it'll do. It's going to actually import that PDF. Uh, and it's going to see it's got 26 slides and it's going to actually make them into 26 slides. So there it goes there. And down the bottom, I've got my 26 slides that I can cycle between. Okay. So before you start, you'll see that it's got the little uh, up here. You'll see that it's on the, the finger, which means it'll move that around, uh, which we don't want. We actually want to have it on the pencil um, because we, we want to be able to draw over it. Okay. So I'll just undo that. Um, and that's it. That's ready to go. So you can set that off to your iPads. You can have it a link. Like I said, you can download it a link from the, from my um, from my website and and play, press that record button, and off you go. So you can be used for anything. So today's lesson was to focus on letters and words, but again, I know you're thinking about, oh, I can use it for this, or I can use it for that, and, and I'll have a few more lessons coming up on some other things you can use it for, as well as some other cool things that Explain Everything does. And that's it. Easy one. Thanks, guys.